Today is the first installment of a new series called Teaching Griefers a Lesson in GTA 5 Online. Today we found a griefer that has been going around killing people for no reason on his oppressor in GTA 5 Online, and we are going to teach him a lesson. I hope you guys enjoy the series, and let's get into it. The dickhead in today's video is a guy named Impris. He's been going around killing people for no reason. He killed one guy, and I was like, okay, you know what? That's not that bad. But then, this is where he fucked up. He killed one of the boys. You just don't do that. So at this point, I started to get a little mad, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna give this guy one last chance to redeem himself, and we'll, then we'll see what happens, all right? Of course, he decides to do it again. So now it's time to really fuck with the guy. The usual way that I like to kill griefers right off the bat to get noticed is by obliterating them. So let's go and do that. So I made my way over to the facility, and then I found him on the orbital cannon list, of course, and there he is just standing there like the dickhead he is, and here we go, boom, obliterated. Now he knows we exist, and now there is about to be an all-out war between me and him. Now it's time to get dirty and make this guy rage quit. Obviously, I can't just go at this griefer with nothing, so I'm gonna have to go and resupply on my Mark II weapon ammunition because obviously I'm not gonna go off and start killing him with a regular pistol or just a regular heavy sniper. I need those explosive rounds and thermal sights just to piss him off a little bit more. And don't forget guys, I am not a god at PvP in GTA 5 Online, but when it comes to griefers, I will not accept them no matter what. So I'm going to try my best here, and let's hope he does rage quit. My friend that he killed messaged me right after, so I said, let's go and eliminate this guy. So I hopped in my buzzard, my friend was on his oppressor, we we're getting ready to kill this guy, and I kind of messed up here. He actually killed him, and then I shot a rocket. I didn't notice he killed him, and I accidentally killed my friend. Right after that happened, I invited him to my CEO so that would no longer happen again, and now we can really start killing this guy. After he died the first time when my boy killed him, he spawned in this alleyway so I landed my helicopter on the roof and I took out my alien gun and just absolutely destroyed him. He did kill me one time before when I was on my oppressor, and to be completely honest, I really don't even know how that happened. It happened so incredibly fast, like the missiles he shot were just like boom, dead, instantly. I shot one at him and it was just weird, I don't know. But yeah, now it's 2 to 1, we're winning, technically 3 to 1, so let's continue to kill this guy and see if he quits the game. So at this point, he respawned in another alley just across the street over here. Thankfully, I have a thermal sight on my explosive sniper, so this guy really just did not stand a chance. The second I saw him running, boom, shoot the ground, he flies up in the air, and then I just need to get one critical shot on him, and boom, he is dead just like that. And I do a little dance just so then he could see when he's responding, he could see me doing that air thrusting thing just to know that he is getting fucked right now. And then my boy Perry over here finds him lurking around on the streets and just kills him right away. Takes a lot of skill to do that with a jet, especially since this area has a lot of really high buildings. It's really tight around every corner and there's trees in the middle of the street. So it definitely takes some skill to use a jet to kill some people. But now we're just going to bribe the authorities. I'll jump off this building because obviously he's not spawning anywhere near here. And then we're going to kill him a little bit more. I'm pretty sure at this point, this guy was in the middle of typing out a message because he was raging at this point, but he didn't have enough time and my boy over here killed him again. So right now we're completely destroying this guy. He's probably raging as much as he possibly can. So now at this point I realized, hey, I could finally use some of these overpowered vehicles that I bought. I have so much money in this game and I really never use any of these vehicles that can just obliterate people with no problem. So I called out my next level railgun tank and I missed my first shot. This guy was in an F1 car. He literally zoomed right by me, but don't worry, I'll catch up to him. Tortoise in the hair, in the end, the tortoise wins. I did forget to record one clip, but my boy over here, he just killed him again, and now this guy is just running around on the street, but then he dies again because this guy is in a jet. It's perfect. So pretty much, this guy is just raging, like completely freaking out right now. I'm not sure exactly how old he is, but the worst part about this guy is the fact that he's a level 86. Now, some of you might say, he's level 86. Why are you picking on a level 86? Well, think about it this way. This guy is a level 86. He's probably been griefing in this game since the very start. He probably got his mom's credit card, he probably went out and bought the Oppressor Mark II, and then he's been griefing this entire time. Because how can you be a griefer and not even be the highest level in the game to unlock 
everything. Like the highest level to unlock everything is level 120. So how can you be a griefer at level 86? It's just a terrible person in general, from what I could see. And then his boyfriend pulls up and he has a Deluxo. And at this point I knew I was kind of screwed. So now this guy we're gonna have to deal with as well. Luckily, he only really popped up that one time and then he just completely disappeared. So I'm not really sure what their relationship is, if they're sleeping together or whatnot. Don't really know, but he pretty much just disappears after this point. So now at this point, this guy thinks he's smart. He goes off the radar. So I decide to screw with him a little bit more and I call mercenaries on him because those things really will never kill you, but they just annoy you because they'll keep chasing you. And if you stop your car for literally a minute or you crash, you'll be killed instantly. That's why I love mercenaries. They'll never really kill you unless you screw up somehow. So I decided to call mercenaries on him just to mess with him a little bit more. But of course, right now we can't even figure out where he is because he's off the radar, but this guy is pretty stupid. Instead of being like a smart griefer, even though griefers aren't smart, they're stupid, he goes along to go and kill some more people while he's off the radar. Now doing that pretty much just gives away his exact position, because now all I have to do is find out where the guy that he just killed is spawns in. He spawned in right there on Hollywood Boulevard, so I'm going to fly my oppressor right on over there and surprise him right when he's back on the radar. Now most griefers at this point would either go and hide in their facility, their apartment building, and wait whoever is killing them out, or just find a new lobby at this point. And I'm pretty sure that's what this guy is about to do because now he gets mad, but I'm not exactly sure exactly what this guy did here, but I'm pretty sure he has a modded phantom wedge or just a modded truck because it literally will not explode. I'm not exactly sure exactly what he has on it. Like I said, I used to be a glitcher, so there probably is some glitch you could do to make this vehicle invincible like there is with certain other vehicles in the game, but I pretty much unloaded 40 oppressor mark ii rockets like i fully went back to my terabyte and restocked on my rockets and i could not kill him so i had to do it the old-fashioned way since my oppressor is much faster than his slow ass truck i just followed the exact route he was going and then i waited for him and just killed him the normal way because yeah his truck's in god mode but he isn't and now i'm up five to one so then at this point he respawned in and i found him and i was just about to kill him but this guy had enough and I think he may have learned his lesson because he left the game and fully rage quit. Now, normally it doesn't end here. Sometimes when I really want to teach a griefer a lesson, I go and search their name up on the PlayStation dashboard and see if I could join their session. But this guy fully turned off his console because he got so freaking mad. I mean, I would honestly get pretty mad too, but he deserved it. He was a full on griefer. So there was no way that I could join his lobby and I wasn't just going to sit around for hours waiting for him to come back online because it was honestly pretty late at night and he was probably just going to go to bed pouting and crying because that's probably what he was doing. Then at that point, I remembered that other guy that came and killed us when we were in the middle of killing this guy and I wanted to see if I could join his session. And lucky for me, he was actually online and he was just in a completely different lobby. I thought maybe both of them were in the same lobby, it's just that first guy was appearing offline. So I decided to try and join his session, but in the end it didn't work out. Maybe he was in a friends only lobby or just because the game is kind of glitching out right now in terms of joining people, it just would not let me join the lobby, which kind of sucked because I really did want to mess with them just a little bit more. At this point, my friend and I realized we had won the war. It was over, we have defeated the griefer in today's video. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today. If you guys do wanna see a part two to this and me making this into a full series of just pissing off griefers and killing them in GTA 5 Online until they rage quit, send me messages and things like that because it's happened before in tons of games. Like for instance, Call of Duty, my friends and I were going off on these guys they decided to add us all into a party and start cussing us out and we just started laughing because it was so funny but yeah guys let me know if you do want to see an episode two of this down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will catch you guys in the next one